Advancing the Standard of Living, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 74. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. Welcome to Weekly Progress Update number 74, the August 1st, 2014 edition. As always, I'm going to cover all of our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with video and pictures. And if you'd like more details, uh, more specifics, links to all of the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Uh, also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, please send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, finished 50% of the spring-themed lesson plan webpage that teaches all subjects to all learning levels in the context of the central theme of spring. You can see that here in the background. We also researched and added another huge body of educational resources, about another 20% to our open source online education resources page. And we completed the first 60% of the images and descriptions for the English subject page. Behind the scenes, we finished the final 10% of the lesson plan with a core theme of harmony. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team finished adding the diversity details to the heirloom and organic turnip section of the large scale gardening page. We added nine and featured the only two that had enough available online information to share. You can see that here. We also completed this for Oka, an Andes root vegetable that looks like the 10 you see featured here. On our website, you will find an additional six, bringing our total to 16 varieties, and of course, the included details for cultural considerations, planting guidelines, and sourcing and purchasing details are all on the website. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber, if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing began measuring and inventorying all the components of the Murphy bed furniture design for the Earthbag Village domes. What you see here is the first 25% of this process for the end cabinets that will then prepare us to create detailed wood and parts purchasing lists, building instructions, and then, as part of our upcoming crowdfunding campaign, complete finished examples, time-lapse videos, and video construction tutorials. Related to the crowdfunding campaign, we also added lodging and camping options details to our crowdfunding campaign webpage. And our partner, Amira Kassem, also finished several weeks of research into traditional plasters that you can see posted in its raw form on our new open source plaster page. We've also added the beginnings of eco and natural plaster details, compliments of Scott Howard of Earth and Hand Natural Building. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician 
if you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team added another 30 seconds of scenes to the duplicable city center construction and 3D video that showcases over two years of 3D design work. Here it is to the point it is currently complete and you can visit our written blog to see it with full volume music, more details, and a series of additional still images at the end of the video showing the building's development and acting as fillers as we weekly replace them with new video components. We also completed our exploration and analysis of heat pump efficiency and benefits. What you see here is a chart of the benefits of a specific heat pump we are evaluating when used in combination with a solar water heater, heat exchanger recapturing heat from used shower water, or other method. It is comparing this to a tankless water heater. The bottom of this chart is the incoming water temperature using one of the pre-mentioned methods, and the coefficient of performance on the left is how many more times the energy efficiency is of the heat pump versus the tankless water heater. Visit our open source sustainable water heating page or this week's written blog for more details on that. Also this week, James Nance with P2S Engineering and Ben Pollock with Web Food Service Design began exploring the details of advanced heat recovery from the re refrigeration units. Here's a picture of what we're talking about and looking at there. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team finished a new win-win page showing all the areas one community is currently working on and sharing how we define creating win-win collaborative partnerships. We also updated our core value of spirituality page that discusses one community's diversity focused and non-ideological approach to spirituality and how we use this value in our decision making process. One community is advancing the standard of living. The way that we're doing this is by first understanding that advancing the standard of living will be different for different people. For people that are starving, for people that have no homes, for people living in third world countries with limited resources, the idea of advancing the standard of living is as simple as food, energy, and housing. For people living in more abundant countries with uh, access to as many resources as they need, the idea of advancing the standard of living really can come down to more of the cultural aspects of civilization. Better education, more time to spend with friends and family, fulfilled living models, recreation, the idea of true earth stewardship and giving back to their communities and really contributing something of value to their lives, the lives of their families, and the lives of everybody that they know. Our goal is to put both of these elements together, food, energy, housing, along with highest good models for education, economics, recreation, fulfilled living models, as well as true earth stewardship and open source and free share, all of them together. The ultimate expression of this would be to build a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub anywhere in the world that can then teach others how to build a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub also. Taking the resources to where they're needed most from the places where they exist and allowing people to share those with local communities so that those communities can participate in the creation of the teacher demonstration hub and then reap the benefits too. This is the ultimate vision of one community. This is what we're creating. And our idea in advancing the standard of living and improving that also is in looking, that, looking at it and saying, how can we make everything that we do individually duplicable too? For people that don't want to do a complete teacher demonstration hub, for people that would just like to bring a little bit of sustainability or self-sufficiency into their own lives, to empower themselves with food self-sufficiency or being able to build their own home or by living off-grid or by bringing an education model into their community that them and their friend, friends can use and implement themselves and provide a better 
quality of education for their kids that is parent and kid centric, that allows full participation of everybody involved in a cooperative and collaborative environment so that everyone's improving, the teachers and the kids. This is our idea. We know that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, then these ideas will spread on their own. And this is what we're up to. So by open sourcing and free sharing everything that we do, that addresses the affordable and that affordability issue. And by making it as easy to duplicate as we can, not just open sourcing it, but what we call open source project launch blueprinting, which means that everything that we're designed is not only open source, it's specifically open sourced in a manner that is designed to be duplicated and evolved on top of so that people can adapt and change everything that it is that we're creating to make it their own, to do it better, to evolve it, so that it evolves as the challenges of this generation and generations to come evolve. If we're going to positively and permanently transform the world, then we believe that the solutions that we create need to be adaptable, modifiable, malleable solutions that can be implemented in any environment, cross-culturally diverse, diversely applicable. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like a noble adventure, if this is something that you'd like to participate in and become a part of history in the making, what we're creating right now, our path is clear. Our team is here with a consciousness for the highest good of all, thinking globally, creating global solutions, asking how can we make the biggest difference for the most people? How can we create things that can be adapted and applied in any environment? How can we make it easy enough, affordable enough, attractive enough, and positively and permanently impact the world for everybody? This is what one community is doing. And so we invite you to join us. So we invite you to get involved. If you're a creator, if you're a maker, if you are an architect or an engineer of the future, if you're somebody that wants to be a part of world change, we're doing it. We're creating it right now. We're being the change that we want to see in the world, inviting people to participate. So, or if you'd like to just participate, we have ways to participate in the internet as well. You know, if you just like to share our information, get the information out there, help us to spread this information, that is helpful too. So if you're a connector, if you're somebody who knows people, one community is still looking for large scale funding right now. You know, the number one thing that people could do to help us is to help us get the property off the market. The property that we've been working with for over three and a half years that's still waiting for us to purchase it. Once we do that, we can share the location and take our open source creative process to a whole new level, multiplying it 50 times, 100 times, 1,000 times as we build our team even faster, as we're able to put our feet on the ground and start doing a lot of things that we can't do without actually doing a specific site survey and take it to the next level in that way. So if you're somebody with the resources or somebody who knows somebody with the resources and you can share our project, we are on all of the different social media sites to make it as easy as possible for people to share what it is that we're doing. We're on Pinterest, we're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit. We're on 10 other different social media networks as well as having multiple accounts on some so that people can interact with the information that we have as easy as possible. Our goal is to positively and permanently change the world for everybody. And we have a comprehensive plan to do that. It's specific, it's detailed, and we've invested at this point tens of thousands of hours into creating it. And so, as we continue to impact this idea of how people live, as we continue to create open source resources and content, as we continue to move forward in creating the world that we all know is possible, a sustainable, self-sufficient world that works for everybody, built and maintained with the consciousness for the highest good of all, which doesn't require everybody. It just requires enough of us thinking this way and willing to dedicate the time and energy to creating it. As we continue to do this, we say thank you to everybody that is following our, our progress, for everybody that is sharing our information, for the small donations that we get that help us keep going because none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're all nonprofit volunteers. And so, once again, as always, we say thank you for following our progress, for keeping up with our project, and for helping us to advance the standard of living through open source creation, free sharing models that will be easy enough, 
affordable enough and attractive enough to spread on their own. Solution models designed to create additional solution creating models. Designed to make it so that anybody can participate in a way that works best for them. And we couldn't do it without everybody's support. So thanks for following our progress and uh, until next week we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.